What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here with your daily After Pulse videos and more and today we are taking a look at the HMG 24 AWD 2016 at 5 stars maxed and we are kind of doing a joint review for the MFX9 AWD 2016 at 5 stars maxed as well and we will be evolving both of them into the 6 star versions at the end of this video. We'll probably do like 2 matches or so and we'll see how we can do here. So obviously on Raised Fort, and I'm wearing the three-piece AWD 2016 gear set, and I got the six-star headgear, the six-star torso, both security chief pieces, and then I believe I'm wearing the uh, Patriot pants here, which do have a slight boost in portability for LMGs. Uh, there's a nice kill with the concussions. I love the concussions, like I said in my past video. Uh, they do damage as well as stun and stopping power and whatever. Um, and so yeah, I think you guys have seen me post videos on the HMG before and the MFX9 before. And you've seen this gear in some past recent videos. So uh, there's not too much new to say. I would recommend the HMG for sure. And I would probably recommend the MFX9 as well. I think they are both great weapons. Uh, as far as the gear goes, I'm really not feeling the portability. Um, and then another thing to note, at least with the AWD, AWD 2016 gear, the 5 star Patriot AWD 2016 armor has a boost in reload speed for LMGs, which is very useful for the HMG. I'll probably try that out when I review the 6 star, maybe if I remember to do that. Um, so you might want to switch up your gear, you know, just because it's a 6 star piece doesn't mean that it's necessarily better, like the torso piece I'm wearing. Um, although you do get some more defense, some more portability maybe, depending on the piece, but uh, just some trade-offs to consider. I don't think that this is the best gear setup for the HMG. Um, I think beret gear would be really good. Um, I don't know, nothing else really comes to mind at the moment, but I'm sure there are several pretty good setups for the HMG. Maybe, I think the Skull Trickster gear set was some good LMG gear, if I'm not mistaken, so maybe that would be good. I should be getting that soon. I don't know what the deal is with that. Like, I selected, I think, 8 gear sets and 22 weapons, uh, so they should be coming to my account. I don't know, like, if they go through the calendar or, like, if they get sent separately, but... Um, it's, I feel like it's weird that I don't have those by now. It seems like a lot of people have gotten theirs, but uh, whatever. You know, I'm good with what I got for now, to be honest. I don't, I don't even really care. Most of the weapons that I selected were AWD 2016 weapons because I didn't think they'd bring the series back. So now I'm, you know, they're going to be burners. <laughs> I'll basically be getting a, a bunch of five-star burners, but... I'm excited for the two six-star weapons, which I did post that video by the time you're seeing this, and I did record all the other videos, I just haven't posted them yet, um, so let me know in the comments if you really want to see those, and I'll post them sooner, otherwise we might focus more on some weapons reviews for a little while, I like making these a lot better, um, and so yeah, maybe we'll get that gear eventually and try out some different setups for the HMG. I think reload speed is a, a big hindrance to this gun. It does take a while to reload, but it does have quite a bit of ammo. Um, I think it's like 115 on the 5 star, and then it goes up to like 125 on the 6 star. Um, yeah, there's 115 in the top right. You can see it there. Uh, and this is the 5 star maxed. Uh, so I'm pretty sure it goes up to 125. You'll see it at the end when we evolve to the 6 star. This should be an easy kill. There we go. And yeah, I just love the AWD 2016 version with the stability, especially like, I just like playing on smaller screen devices. I still have yet to try an iPad, which maybe I'll do that someday, but <laughs> um, I still have yet to try that for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I should just go get one, but um, I just like playing on the smaller screens for the time being, and you guys have heard me talk about it before. It's just, it's so easy. It's such a nice experience to play with the... Uh, AWD 2016 edition uh, because of the boost in stability. It just makes it so easy to control. Such a nice experience. You saw me review the M461E Delta back in the day, a couple of months ago, several months ago by now. I don't know. Um, 
and it was really good. Clearly an OP weapon, at least at that time. It did get a slight nerf with the new edition of the game, so I don't know what it's like now. I'm sure it's still pretty strong, but the stability just wasn't there with that gun, and it just it made it not even fun to play with. And All right, how's this guy not dead? What is going on? We got it. Are you serious? <laughs> How did we get a kill assist there? Was that wire literally blocking our shots? Like, that's kind of stupid, but... Um, whatever. <laughs> and so, yeah, I think stability makes a huge difference, especially on smaller screen devices. I know, you know, I've talked to a lot of you guys out there, and a lot of you guys have left comments and messaged me and whatever, saying that you really like the Atom edition of the HMG, and you've never really had a problem with the recoil. Um, you know, a lot of people who say that play on the iPad Mini. I've heard that's one of the best devices to play after Pulse on. Um... So, you know, your device will vary, your mileage will vary. Uh, I didn't even really mean to go down here, but <laughs> I guess we're dropping through the roof. Let's see if anybody's over here. Uh, and so, yeah, I would definitely recommend the HMG AWD 2016. I'm probably a bit more biased to it than other people, but I think it still kind of applies to everybody. I think it's a great weapon for anybody in the game. And as far as the MFX 9, um... I, you know, I would definitely recommend it. I'm trying to think what other additions there are out there. I, I know we have a Nightcrawler. Uh, we got the Jester, which I got a six-star MFX9 Jester. You guys saw me open that from my login calendar. Um, and then, obviously, the non-skinned edition. And so, the MFX9 did get some boosts. I wouldn't really say recently, but... Since it was introduced, it did get a boost in portability, if I'm not mistaken, and I can't remember if anything else changed. Oh, look at this guy. Let's get him, let's get him. He was standing, like, perfectly still. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Um, and so the MFX9 has gotten a lot better. I think portability went from 660 to 680. I'm just remembering this all off the top of my head, so hopefully that's right. Uh, but there should be a couple notes on the wiki pages. Link in the description, as always. Look at this guy through the window. Does he see me? Oh my gosh, come on. Oh, no, no. Stupid angles. Come on, come on. Somebody's throwing something at us. Oh, look at that. Seven star AGL. Who is that? My teammate. Got them good weapons. Let's go. Um, oh, double trouble. Double trouble. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't know how I'm alive. I don't know what's going on. Oh my gosh. Did we just really get both of them? That's pretty crazy. Um, and so, yeah, I, I don't even know what I was saying, but... I would recommend the MFX9 AWD 2016 as well. I think it's great, and I think, as I've said in past MFX9 videos, one of the key points is evolving from 4 stars to 5 stars, because at 5 stars you get that drum magazine, you get a lot more ammo, and at 4 stars any MFX9 is just completely useless. I think 5 stars is a point where it actually becomes usable uh, and a viable weapon, so... And obviously it'll just get better as we evolve to the 6-star, and we will be making the 7-star of both of these weapons eventually. It's just a matter of getting the cash and the 6-star burners. Um, that's going to be a pain, getting 6-star burners. But uh, there's the HMG Evolve, 39,200 to evolve. As I said, ammo goes from 115 to 125. Stability stays the same, it looks like, and everything else goes down a little bit. But as you level it up, as you guys know... It will get better eventually than the 5-star maxed. So there's a little spin of it there. And now we will evolve the MFX 9 AWD 2016. Uh, and that'll pretty much do it for this video. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you built any of these weapons, I've been getting killed by a bunch of 6-star HMG 24 AWD 2016. So it seems like you guys like that one. Uh, but let me know what you think about the MFX 9 as well. Uh, and that'll do it. Drop a like and be sure to subscribe. And as always, I will catch you on the next video.